Hello everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I am going to do another tag video, another kind of beauty related video, so I'm sorry for two of these in a row. But my good friend here on YouTube, Emily, or Fashionista, Fashionista, I never know how to pronounce it, she pronounces it Fashionista, so I'm just going to go with that. But it sounds so much better when she pronounces it with her British accent, so it kind of sounds awkward when I say it. But she tagged me to do this video, so I was like, alright, why not do it? But I promise my next video will be not a tag and not beauty related, I promise. So obviously, as usual, I have my computer here with me. I have a ton of clothes and stuff around me, so I'm just going to jump right in. Number one, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe slash closet? And I kind of have two because I didn't know what direction to go with this. Um, the ring that I'm wearing, you guys won't be able to see it. Or like, well, I mean, you might, but I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, so I'll put like a close-up picture right here or there or somewhere on the screen. But. I got this as a birthday gift for my 19th birthday from my parents. It is a vintage ring. Um, it's solid gold with two little diamonds and then an ancient Italian coin mounted to the top. So I love it. I wear it every single day. Haven't taken it off since I turned 19 and got it for my birthday. So it's not necessarily the oldest in my wardrobe, but it is probably the oldest piece I own because it's vintage. The oldest piece, oh, so much clothes and stuff here. And the oldest piece that I actually have here, I probably should, should have zipped this up for you, is a jacket that I've had since I was 14 years old. The perks of being tiny and not growing. I'm 21 now, so I've had this for ages. And I'm going to attempt to zip it up for you guys. It's a billabong jacket. It's a fall, um, fall spring jacket. It looks like this. I love it. It's just like this lovely color that's great for both seasons, spring. Um, it's so hard to show because it's a jacket, but yeah, it's just a really nice color. It has like little elbow things, a nice print on the inside. I love Billabong. I got this at Boathouse, like I said, when I was like in grade nine. So that has been with me for a long time and I have no wishes to buy a new spring or fall jacket because that cream color, it's warm, it's a nice color, it's a nice style and it's still stylish and I love it so not giving it up. What is the newest item is question number two and that is this cardigan I'm wearing. I literally bought it on Sunday so yeah I bought this cardigan and a billabong dress and I actually got them both from a local thrift shop and um, I'm a huge fan of billabong so anything billabong. I've never actually heard of the company that makes this but it's this just beautiful soft sheer coral cardigan that's like the perfect spring summer cardigan. Number three, what is the most expensive item in your wardrobe? And that is by far um, my prom dress, which I have actually gotten three wears for. I wore it to my prom, of course. I wore it on the orange carpet at the Nickelodeon Halo Awards in LA when I was a correspondent on the carpet. And I wore it just a few weeks ago to um, a big posh Toronto fundraiser event that I spoke at. So I've gotten three wears of it, out of it, which is awesome. Also great being small because my prom was three years ago and it still fits me. I've worn it once a year ever since I bought it. And that is way over here again. I mean, there's no doing this. Uh, how, what direction is this? There we go. <laughs> there's no doing this justice on camera. Um, so I'm going to insert a photo of me wearing it at prom somewhere here. Um, it's a Betsy Johnson dress and I believe all said and done, it, so I believe I bought it at the Betsy Johnson store uh, in downtown Toronto for $550 and I had to get it altered because the smallest size they had was a zero and I'm a double zero but I fell in love with the dress and I, I had been set on a Betsy Johnson dress for my prom ever since I was 14. So. That was the only store I was going to look for a prom dress, and I literally went in October for my end of June prom. Like, I was so excited. And it was $5.50, and I got it altered, which because it's such a structured dress with boning, and there's, um, it's double layered, like there's a corset on the inside, and then it zips up, so there was like a whole lot of altering that needed to get done, so that cost about $100, so it came out to like $6.50 around there. 
Um, I paid for half and my parents paid for half and I believe my grandma might have paid for the altering or something like that so it was kind of a group effort for the dress. Number four, what is the most affordable slash cheapest item that you have that you use a lot and that is definitely this top. You might have seen me wear it in one of my guide dog videos, I'll link that below. Um, this is a top from West 49 which I believe is a Canadian store. It's kind of like a skate, skater, surfer shop, which is also like boathouse as well. Um, it's kind of like PacSun in America, but anyways, it's um, this shirt, the white shirt with like this tribal-ish elephant pattern thing. I'm obsessed with elephants, as you can one right back there. Um, they're my favorite animal, and anything elephant, anything black and white, I'm all over. And I got this for 80% off. It was originally like 20 or something something around there and I got it for I believe four dollars so that was a huge deal and I got a whole bunch of stuff at that store for 80% off this winter but that's probably the item I've worn the most from that sale that also came down to like the cheapest price number five what was the biggest bargain um, that was definitely a huge bargain and I'm big into bargain shopping like I love buying stuff on sale Guess I never buy things full price. I've said that in a million videos. American Eagle has great sales. Obviously, West 49, I got like a ton of stuff 80% off. I love thrift shopping um, at specific thrift stores. Um, so I definitely love to get a good bargain. I know I have something here. Other than that, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. <laughs> I just have so. Oh, I have. I have. So in India, when I went to India on a Midui trip, I facilitated two summers ago, two Augusts ago, um, I got a pair of their traditional Indian pants custom made for me, and these custom made pants all together cost two to three dollars, which I don't think you can get more of a bargain for custom made pants. And they are these pants, and it was so funny because a year later, when I got home, this style of pant where it's like scrunchy at the bottom and then like super loose and flowy all the way and patterned became super trendy and like Urban Outfitters, American Eagle, all these places were selling them for like 40 to 80 bucks and I was like dude I got mine custom made for two dollars in India so you can't get much better than that and of course I chose the black and white pattern with elephants along the bottom of the pants. Typical Molly. Six, what was the biggest waste of money? This makes me so sad to think about I'm gonna grab it right now. It's actually literally sitting here at the end of my couch in a bag that's waiting to go get donated. That's how much of a waste of money it was for my life. The biggest waste of money in my wardrobe was these high heels. They are Jessica Simpson shoes. I believe they're about a hundred to hundred and fifteen dollars when I bought them at Town Shoes two, three years, about three years ago. Uh, they are gorgeous. I think they're stunning. This like just classic patent leather black pump um, but as you can see, this slope is like quite aggressive and I'm like this heel height is nothing for me. I usually wear five to six inch heels. So this to me is short. It's about three and a half, maybe four. I don't even think it's four. But it doesn't have a platform at the toe. And I would be okay with that if this slope wasn't so aggressive. It's just like, it's just a poorly made shoe and they're the kind of shoes where you try them on at the store and you're like, wow these are like heaven on my feet and then you wear them for 15 minutes at an event and you're like I actually want to chop my feet off and like that's how much I hate these shoes so I I love the look of them they they're my perfect size which is very hard to find for girls with small feet Jessica Simpson makes size 5 heels so does Michael Kors guess who else makes size 5 I'm just listing these because I know it's so hard to find size 5 heels oh Le Chateau makes size 5 heels anyways so she makes five, size 5 heels, which I was so excited about, and yeah, they're like hell. So these were the biggest waste of money in my wardrobe. Number 7, what are your 3 favorite items right now? And by the way, I don't even know if these are the correct questions, because it seems like there's a few more questions than the ones Emily answered, but I just googled the closet confidential tag questions and this is what came up, so I'm just rolling with it. Um, okay, the first favorite is actually on my feet right now, and I got it at the same thrift shop as I got this sweater cardigan thing but I got it a few weeks back, um, and they are these. I swear they had never been worn before I bought them. Like most of the stuff in the store, it's kind of like a Plato's Closet, but even higher end. 
It's called Kind Exchange. They have 18 locations. It's actually a not-for-profit. It's an amazing store. I love it. And they're just gorgeous shoes. Like, they're this beautiful leather, a nice small heel, so comfortable, and this like amazing colorful woven type style thing. So they are just so straight up my alley and I, I'm in love with them. So they're going right back on my feet. My next favorite is these light wash skinny jeggings that I got from American Eagle. Uh, American Eagle is the only place I buy my jeans and pants pretty much because they do double zeros, they do short leg, and they're only 40 bucks. So you can't really beat that when you're a petite girl. I mean 40 bucks for an amazing pair of jeans or pants. Yeah, that's awesome. So I was wearing these earlier today actually. Um, but they are just a light wash skinny denim and the reason I've been loving them so much lately is this is literally the first pair of skinny wash pants I have like ever owned. I'm just not a light wash person. I tend to be, I love like dark wash, mid wash, but for whatever reason this year I was like I'm really feeling getting some light wash skinnies. And I bought them and I've been loving them. I love to like cuff them up at the bottom and just look super casual with it. I just, I'm loving it. And finally. The last of my three favorites is this Michael Kors, oh it's like so out of shape right now because nothing, there's not much in it, but this is the Jet Set Computer Tote, just in the black and it's the new style so it zips shut at the top. Um, I'm going to do in the fall time when I'm back doing a lot of speaking and traveling, I'm going to do a what's in my work bag with this because um, if you saw my what's in my carry-on travel bag, you'll know, I'll link that below, that I've been, that I was on the hunt for this, and I found it, and I love it. It is just the perfect laptop bag. I've been bringing it to all of my events with me since I bought it, and I will never look back. It is, it is just, I don't use it as an everyday bag at all, like, it's purely my work purse. It's my work bag, what I carry my laptop into my events, and I'm just absolutely obsessed. It's perfect. Eight, what is the most outrageous or colorful item in your closet? My boyfriend is going to totally love that I put this in here because he absolutely hates it. In fact, in our couple's one, two, three tag, which again, I'll link below, he listed this as something he, the one item he wants me to get rid of. That's how much he hates it, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep rocking it because I love it and I know the majority of you are gonna hate this. It is a silver vest. In fact, I even wore this on Halloween one year when I was Lady Gaga and Chris Hadfield's love child. So it was like my giant space helmet and space suit and then I wore like crazy space leggings and massive heels and like weird sunglasses and crazy Lady Gaga makeup and I was, yeah, their love child. So this, I, it's pretty outrageous, I know, but I love it and I seriously rock this in like the fall to winter transition time where you need more than a fall jacket but less than a winter jacket that's what I'm rocking number nine what is your favorite piece that you've gotten as a gift and this is something from my boyfriend I'm just gonna grab it again you're not gonna be able to see this very well so I'm going to um, put a close-up I don't wear it as often as I'd like to purely because it's gold for May which means it's silver with gold plating basically and if you know, if you've seen like my 50 random facts tag or any of that kind of stuff, you know that I'm very allergic to sterling silver. So I can wear this, but I don't want to wear it too much like in the shower or anything because I don't want the gold to wear off because then the silver will be touching my skin and then I'll have really bad reactions. So I, I love it. I love it so much though. It's, um, he gave it to me on our first Valentine's Day together as a couple and it says in his own handwriting, he got it on Etsy. If I didn't already say this, I'll put a close-up image so you can see it. In his handwriting, it says all in the way, and that means always. And he wrote me like a four or five page braille letter about um, just how even if we're not physically together, we'll always, you know, be in each other's lives. Like it, we've done a lot of long distance because I travel for work and he's traveled for school, studied abroad and stuff. So like even if we're not in each other's lives will always be together and you know he'll always love me no matter what and just this really sweet letter and it was you know all gushy and stuff but yeah it was amazing so 
no guy has ever made such a thoughtful gift for me and he got it on Etsy. I'm not sure I'll ask him what shop he got it from and if he remembers I'll link it below but yeah it was a custom made piece obviously and on the way means always in like olden day English so yeah pretty cute. Number 10, what is the most comfortable item you own? I've worn this in one of my old videos. Okay, I'll link it below. If, if I mention a video, just assume I'll link it below. But it is this Zebra onesie. Like, I think the brand's called Koozie? Cozy? I'll link below if I find the brand on, online. I got it at Boathouse as well, which I believe is just a Canadian store. But it's like little ears, and it has the like little... What, what is this called? The mane. <laughs> and it has a tail, and it has feet that you can zip off if you want to or keep on. Obviously, I always keep them on. Um, and a tummy, and it zips up, and it's just like, who doesn't want to wear a zebra onesie? Like, you look like an animal and you're cozy warm. It even has hooves that cover your hands, so your hands don't get cold. It's just the comfiest. Um, 11, pick your favorite black item and your favorite white item of clothing in your wardrobe. And I cheated. I picked something that's black and white because I'm obsessed with black and white. I talked about this in one of my favorites videos. And it's this um, black and white top. I've worn it in actually a lot of videos. It's this black and white top um, from American Eagle. It reminds me of something you'd find at Brandy Melville. But I like it better because American Eagle has sizes and Brandy Melville is one fits all, which is just not a thing because one thing doesn't fit all. So it is like the softest material you will ever touch. It's not a crop top, but it just hits like right at the top of your pant line if you're wearing like a regular rise pant, not a high rise or anything. And it's just so soft. I literally bought four of them. Um, two black and white stripes, but like different black and white stripes. Um, one with like a moon on it, a gray one with moon on it, and one that was like a blue patterned one. I've worn all of them in videos, but I'm, I'm obsessed. My favorite black and white item. I just, I wear black and white all the time, so yeah. But that's probably my favorite because it's the most comfy. And number 12, last question, where do you shop the most? Um, and I mentioned this in a video, in a Q&A video in the past, but Lululemon, Aritzia, Guess, and American Eagle. And Sephora if I can cheat. Yeah. Definitely. I'm trying to think of shoes, if there's like a specific shoe store. I love the shoe store Journeys, um, but that's not necessarily to say like I necessarily buy most of my shoes there. I just love it. I also love brown shoes. I love Sephora, but that's not really clothing. But yeah, so those are definitely my most shopped at stores. And recently, I'm buying a lot of stuff at Be Kind or Kind Exchange, the thrift store I got this at. Or I guess it's more of like a secondhand like consignment shop. I don't know. Um, and I've been selling a lot of my old stuff there. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. And that completes this tag. I hope you've stuck with me till the end. If you have, give this a big thumbs up. T uh, tweet me requests. Comment down below with requests for new videos. I'm definitely going to be doing more follow me around vlogs. Um, if anything interesting is happening in my life. And I have lots of exciting stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys and have an awesome night. Bye.